And then, my friends, the pieces the resistance. Hope everyone is having a fantastic December. We're getting close to Christmas here. We are on day 15 of Maddie Ads. Got a lot of YouTube content up now. One video per day, minimum. That's the requirement. That's the contract I've made with myself. Signed in blood. Uh, to recap, we have a website now called thegiftjack.com. And yesterday we wrote our first article. And I'm gonna go through what that looks like shortly. Probably the biggest key component of today that we will get to is we are gonna deep dive SEO plugin for WordPress or search engine optimized plugins for WordPress. There are some famous ones, maybe one you've already heard of called Yoast. We'll be looking at Yoast. We're also going to look at the SEO framework, which is a competitor to Yoast. And let's get right into it. Yesterday, we left off writing this article. Let's just walk through it. So again, we're targeting a very specific keyword here. We're going after Star Wars Valentine's gifts. The majority of those do target the spouse. Here's our featured image. Again, very flat looking, very easy to mass produce. Pulled out a bunch of pastel colors that I'm going to use that all work with each other going forward. Our description line, right? Today, you might recognize some of these items. We have switched around the order of some of them. You to one for me t-shirt. We got a cutting board. We got this animated Baby Yoda glass set. You got a high ticket item here, right? This is a, a limited edition Star Wars watch made by Citizen. And then all of them, you click any of these, they all go to my affiliate link. Lightsabers, I've heard from some folks that are following along on the project that this is a super interesting gift. Consider this, like some of these gifts or some of these links that you, you do on an article basis, you can use them in other articles in the future. This is my favorite item. I think it's very clever. And in the product, I'll show you later, it actually has an immense amount of sales on on amazon got some chewbacca slippers mind you we wrote all this right we wrote all the headlines the descriptions and then my friends the pieces the resistance if you make it all the way to the bottom you get into the high price ticket items this is the cadillac of star wars pens and this is the official replica of the darth vader lightsaber these are expensive but I think we're gonna transition. There's a lot of back and forth about which SEO plugins are the best. And so what I wanna do is I wanna research the top two, at least, I wanna show folks what those are. And then I wanna get into the actual weeds of what people say that use Generate Press, right? Because that matters the most to me. If you're using a different theme and you're using plugin A versus plugin B, it doesn't matter to me. What matters is what, what people have said about Generate Press and how it functions with, with plugin A or plugin B because I want my website to be fast. And realistically, these plugins have the same features. We're just gonna walk through what they do. And then we're gonna get into some actual reviews of these products. And then we'll see how they um, they mesh with our current WordPress plugin. Yoast is SEO for everyone. The, the good news is these are free to a certain extent. Yoast SEO is the number one SEO plugin for WordPress. I don't doubt that. It is easily the most recognizable. So I have no doubt that they could use that claim. Uh, what this does is it's gonna allow us to quote unquote get more visitors from Google and Bing and the way that it does that is it just helps us ensure that we get the right meta tags and descriptions set up for our articles and all of our category pages and our home page and all that stuff if you don't set specific titles or descriptions Google's gonna do whatever the heck they want to do with with your titles and descriptions you see how it's truncated it's got that dot 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 it's gonna be even more truncated on mobile and that's not a really good experience you want to make sure you're able to convey all of the points you want to make with your article in the allotted space. So you don't want all this dot, dot, dot stuff. So what these plugins allow us to do is they allow us to easily update these for every article or for every page. Without a plugin like this, here's what we would have to do. We would have to go into our C panel. Then we would have to go into, we'd have to go into our SQL database. And then we'd have to go in here. We'd, we'd have to do, we'd have to pull some SQL queries. We'd have to push in our new title and our new description for any article that we make a change to plugins are, are much easier unless you have like some, some massive website where you need to make mass changes to like a hundred thousand pages all right so they have yoast premium and yoast seo free i will have to look at this but i've heard that yoast premium is not worth the money it's sold in as what does yoast free get us well it gets us free courses we're able to get 10 key phrase queries a day 
So this allows us to find high performing keywords in Yoast. Okay, interesting. The problem, here's the problem with something like that is like, do you really want that sitting on your WordPress page load every time? Like, is it really worth it to have these, these plugins have to continue to add features and bloat themselves to make money, right? To compete in the market. We have a refs that we're using. So this is not helpful for us. Tell Google what your page is about. Yep, this is, this is what we want. This is what we want. This is what the purpose of our SEO plugin should be. Should be to make sure that Google, Pinterest, and other platforms know exactly what your page is about by adding schema.org data the right way. Faster indexing and rich results. By the way, the free version says check on that, right? And that's the main thing we're here for. No outdated content. So they do all these um, warning bells and whistles. It's not useful for me. And you'll see they have other like warning bells that that just makes the page kind of bloat more. Readability check. Okay, so they're doing a, a reading ease score. So similar to what we've been doing with, with with the Hemingway app, it sounds like they also will tell you how well what you wrote is actually written. There's value to that. You want to write for your audience. I do not want to write like PhD level sentences for a gifting website. I want it to be super easy to read, super smooth. But guess what? It comes with the free version. Internal linking suggestions. This is basically, it's going to crawl your, your pages and it's going to say, hey, you should think about linking this article to this. Yeah, that's helpful. You should be thinking about it anyways. Uh, the problem I think is this adds bloat. Right? If it's got to crawl all your pages and it needs to know what content lives there, it's just adding more bloat to your page load. All right, so redirect manager. Easily redirect old URLs to new ones so you don't lose visits because they got stuck on a 404 not pound found page. This is true. This is saying it's not in the free version and you have to think of creating a redirect yourself. There's some value to that. We're actually, we need to do that with some of our category pages, but ad free. Oh, so that's great. So their free version, there's ads in there. Add even more bloat. All right. So let's take a look at their competitor then. Their competitor here is the SEO framework. So they deliver results, join over 100,000 businesses that grow and use plugin. What do we see already? No advertisements, no branding, no fake SEO magic. Uh, they're, they're talking about the recommendations that plugins like Yoast offer. So focus on precision, no slow queries. It's important for us. We, we want to make sure there's no database hogging. Those things slow down your website. All of those cool features that Yoast has, that's great, but they have to be stored somewhere. That, ha that data has to live somewhere. You can see like they focus on something much different than Yoast, right? They're focusing on these like core principles and they're just selling their product much differently than Yoast. No scare tactics. There's no fabricated pseudo SEO for you to waste your time on. Again, this is a knock at Yoast within their product when you're in WordPress has a lot of bells and whistles and advocates for making changes and a lot of recommendations. These guys they are saying we don't have any of that. It just works. WordPress boasts over 16 page types, 50,000 plugins and 4,000 themes. The SEO framework is built to spec. So you'll have SEO for your whole website on any website. So it's compatible. Compatibility matters. Sometimes these plugins have conflict, right? With your theme or with other plugins. Like it's just it's just how the ecosystem works. The SEO framework is free. We like hearing that, don't we folks? Premium SEO, free of charge, powered by the community. Hey, that sounds a little bit like Maddie Ads, by the way. All right, so this is where they make their money, by the way. They have extension manager and you can add more features to your plugin. So they got unlimited SEO, so this is seven bucks a month. All right, let's look at their, their comparison table. Uh, guess what? All of the SEO management is under the free one. SMO, uh, oh, this is social media, how your page will show up on Twitter or Facebook. That's done for free. All right, so structured data, this, this is where you lose some of this stuff. You lose article, you lose news article, you lose blog posting, I'm not sure what that is. And then you lose local business. So the one that would we would have to look at is blog posting, see if it was worth the $7 a month. Then we have, all of this automation stuff for free. SEO auditing. We talked about the SEO bar. That's the item that will show up that does the checks. So there's 70 checks that they run. It will flag if any of them get hit. Also tells you on the pixel counter. We count our characters. They also count characters for you. So we get free extensions if we use the free version. If we had the paid version, we would get all extensions for two sites. API access. We don't have any API access. Again, we don't necessarily know what we would use that for anyways. And then what about any of these, uh, these extensions? Local is important if you're doing a local 
business. Anything that's like near me, that is a totally different ball game when it comes to SEO. That's called local SEO. The monitor keeps track of your website SEO optimizations and statistics. Don't need it. We're going to be looking in Google Analytics. All the options we need are available in free. Less bloat, no ads. Core principles are tied to speed and reliability things we don't like um i don't know if there's any things we don't like i'm just going to do a quick check on what rank math is what they have to offer so they say they are wordpress seo made easy most powerful to get way to get the best results looks pretty clean by the way here's wordpress with it active it's like they have different widgets that you can turn on and off all right so it does all the same stuff that we talked about so they have 15 built-in modules that you can enable and configure based on your requirements you can measure and track keyword rankings to keep a pulse on your SEO success. See this stuff, it's just not needed. This is pulling in, it looks like it's pulling in through Google Analytics here. And you know what? I'll go into Google Analytics if I need that. I don't need to do that in my WordPress. And then it's compatible with both editor types. If you notice, this is the Gutenberg editor. This looks just like my editor right here, does it not? And what did they do? Well, they just put a ton of stuff on the right-hand bar. <laughs> this is the preview of how your page will look in Google if it was to show up. Uh, it has focus keywords. It says, this is pillar content. Hey, we talked about pillar content. That is a best practice. If you're building a website, go watch my video, go do your own research on pillar content so you can make sure you're ranking as best as possible. Then it has a bunch of recommendations again i don't need all that stuff i just need to be able to push in my title push in my description that's it let's go check out their pricing all right so they don't have a free version oh no they do have a free they do have a free version but the free version gets you uh, it's got all x's except for two things the way that i feel is that it feels to me like it might be a better version of Yoast with less bloatware. I'm actually going to use, if you couldn't have guessed it already, I'm going to use the SEO framework. Um, I think this gets us where we need to. And it is focused on speed and reliability, which is what we want above all else. Let's go ahead then and um, let's install this bad boy. So we got to go into WordPress. Let's go into add new plugin. We are going to install that SEO framework. All right, so it shows up under SEO. And then these are all of our settings. So SEO bar is how they're going to show us their recommendations so let's look at what that would look like if we went to all posts you see how these have um this new bar over here got seo and then it's got title description indexing following archiving redirection those are all indicators for if we need to make any changes so right now it's saying hey your title's too long and hey your description's too long so i'll show you what it looks like though if you scroll all the way down on your this is the gutenberg editor it's going to show you hey here's your meta title hey here's your meta description the default settings are to add your brand at the end end of any headline so it has dash the gift yak so we're going to remove this from the settings because we don't want our brand tied to every post that we do not necessary it might be necessary for your industry if you decide that we really want to focus on the core keywords that we're targeting so like valentine's day star wars and gifts then you can set indexing link following and archiving here they will follow defaults and we're just going to set them up from a default standpoint 301 redirect is actually Actually important uh, we're gonna need to do that so we have a category page up here right occasions and categories and that's where any of our occasions or category posts can go at the bottom of, of every article we have these category tags and if I click that it takes us to a different category page and that's not good what I'm gonna do is I'm going to redirect this instead of linking here it will always link here where it should it's worth looking through some of the other settings, though. Uh, you can see that it's adding our our brand name here, the gift jack, on both sides. We do not want that. All right, we're removing that. So this is description can be used to determine what text under the title on search engine results page. A description can be audit auto generated for every page. We want to leave this auto generated. All right, we. If we forget to add a description, we want there to be a placeholder. All right, so homepage settings, this is gonna be what the gift yak will say. The settings that we set in the homepage are gonna be what dictates the headline here as well as the description. Social, 
So this is what would show up if somebody linked our website on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. The image that shows up is the one that you set, you can set here, okay? So right now it looks like it has our, the giftyak.com on Facebook. What's gonna show up is our logo. And then it's gonna say the gift yak, we curate unique best gift ideas. And then it's gonna have our description underneath. So we're gonna need to get all of our social networks set up and we're gonna need to start linking them all in here. We don't have those set up yet. Webmaster settings. So we have not not signed up yet for our Google search or our Bing webmaster. Uh, these are these are things that we will want to give us full control of how we show up in the search engine and where we're where we're showing up and how what pages are indexed. The good news is we're already showing up there. So Google already likes us and we're also going to have Pinterest in there. All right, site maps. Site map settings are important. All we need to do is make sure that these functions are on. We don't need to worry about this query limit unless you have a ton of pages on your website. So we didn't change too much. We just changed how some of the things show up. And as you can see, there's not that many settings, right? We went through all of them. So we have thoroughly covered the best SEO plugins on WordPress, in my opinion. And we got one set up. We got the SEO framework set up out of the box, changed a couple of the settings, already added some of our own title and description tags that we want to do. Hopefully you guys have a better understanding for what impact a plugin like this can have on how your page shows up on a Google search and also how it can help you rank better on Google search. We're going to call it for the day. Been uh, quite the good stream. Just trying to, don't know what's going on with my hair. Click that follow button if you haven't. Uh, click that subscribe button on YouTube if you haven't. Tomorrow, we're going to sign up for Fiverr and Upwork. And we're going to start contracting with some content writers. If you've ever wondered how other businesses write content in a with freelancers and consultants, this is how they do it. And so you can check that out tomorrow on stream. Goodbye. Have a good night.